We are just one day away from the start of action in Memphis for the WGC St. Jude Invitational. Uh, before I give you a summary of my selections for the week, I cannot start this without stressing all the love and support I have felt from all of you since joining the Odds Checker team. I'm really excited about it. It's a product I've literally used forever, so it feels perfectly normal coming on here and supporting them and providing content for them. WGC St. Jude Invitational, as we discussed many times, there aren't going to be many opportunities in World Golf Championships from down the board, so we're staying near the top, and we're afraid of the guys at the very top, your Rory's, your Bryson's, your Rom's, your Justin Thomas's. But in order to make a handful of selections, we've had to skip them. We've gone to the second tier, as discussed earlier. My leadoff pick, Xander Shoffley. Uh, you can find him now at 20 to 1 over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Still think that's a very fair number. I think Xander is incredibly live with the driving, with the irons. We'll get that hot putter. Uh, four top 20s since the restart. Everything works for St. Jude. Following, uh, following Xander, I've selected Colin Morikawa. There's actually a 30-1 to 1 out there today at FanDuel Sportsbook, and that's a couple points better than the bet I was able to make earlier in the week at 28-1. to 1. So sometimes it pays to get early, sometimes you kind of wait and feel out the market. Morikawa seemingly does everything right. Accuracy at a premium. I feel he'll put himself in the premier positions like he always does. Almost went Victor Hovland. I'll, I'll feel that one if Victor's able to bust through. Brooks Kepka showing up at thirty at a thirty-one to one as well over on FanDuel Sportsbook right now. Uh, I've made many cases about Brooks this week. If it completely backfires, I'll eat my medicine. But I got to take my chances at odds that in some places seem double than his odds to win the PGA next week at a course he played at and won last year. I'm fully of the belief if Brooks Kepka was injured, he's not playing. So I believe there's enough health in him to get that mojo. And I've essentially rounded out my main card with Patrick Reed, 35 to 1. You can find that over at Bet365. Uh, it's a World Golf Championship. There's extra Ryder Cup points on the line. I know we don't have a Ryder Cup this year, but Patrick Reed is nothing but a big game hunter. Won the WGC earlier this year in Mexico. I love going to the table with Patrick Reed in elite fields. He's not afraid of anybody. Uh, when the scrambling is on point, he's incredibly tough, tough to beat. Hopefully he can stay in good positions off the tee and we'll have him uh, with a nice spot on Sunday. A couple more exotics that I've decided to play this week. Some top tens. I'll go through those quickly. Scotty Scheffler and Sung JM, both 650 to 1. As I mentioned, WGC seem to go to the super elites, the guys at the very, very top of the board. But there are some players I do like this week and would like a piece of them. So M and Scheffler, 650 to 1, appears to be the best number I'm seeing. You can find that over at DraftKings Sportsbook and SugarHouse.com. And even a little farther back, never wins in America, but nothing against the top 10. Louis Oosthuizen at that 950 to 1 over at DraftKings Sportsbook is incredibly tempting for me this week. Guys, stay tuned. More content coming. Next week is the PGA Championship, the first major of the year. I'm super fired up. Odds Checker will once again be an incredibly valuable resource for me for that event. And truth be told, it's been an incredibly valuable resource for me for months as I'll get a chance to discuss some of the real fun futures I've had sitting in my pocket for months. And, and be careful this week. You don't need to rush to bet the PGA Championship. Use Odds Checker. I believe come next week there'll be tons of competition in the marketplace what better way to examine the competition than odds checker make sure you get the best number because when you hit you just got to take the most money home i'm jeff feinberg we'll see you next week good luck in memphis